Alrighty, yo, what is going on everybody? It's your boy Mr. DDG94 here. Back with another reaction video today. We're going to react to next Friday. I told y'all last Friday that we was going to be reacting to next Friday, next Friday. And guess what today is? Next Friday. So what we reacting to? Exactly. And then the Friday after the next Friday, we go react to... Duh. <laughs> hey, man. I enjoyed the Friday series, man. This is my favorite, man. We're going to watch Prim's Hood Cinema. We're going to see how they, um, we're going to see how he, uh, go analyze it or whatever. Uh, yeah. Well, first, let's get into it. It's like 2.30 in the morning right now. I need to hurry up and go to bed, man. Shit, I'm tired. Let's go. Let's, let's get it. Let's get it. Hold on. Let me make sure. Make sure it's sounded. Let's get it. And I need to let this sit right here. Um, I talked to one of my YouTuber buddies about this because I, I told him that I'd be reacting to Prim shit. And um, they said that uh, if Prim shit, he has a disclaimer at the beginning. So make sure that they can see it long enough so that way you don't get no copyright problems. Because Warner Brothers, Warner Brothers has been kicking my ass as of lately with these Prim's hood cinemas. And I'm getting very pissed off they just reblocked um they just reblocked uh judgment day judge uh not, not i said judgment day training day they just reblocked training day so if you was trying to watch the training day video they blocked it again for some odd reason man it is what it is man it is what it is i'm gonna try to fight it and get it back up again but um i'm not i'm doing the best i can I don't know if I have to do it in a different format. I asked him, do I have to do it in like a different type of way? Do I have to make sure that, do I have to put my background and make the screen smaller? I mean, I made my, uh, I made my, um, my, what you would call it. I made it bigger, believe it or not. I made my, my camera bigger for my, my camera box bigger so that way i'm taking up more of the screen so they can know that this is a reaction video so as you can see with the fucking disclaimer fucking uh i don't think warner brothers owns this i think lion gate on this i believe i don't think warner Brothers because they didn't go in on the next friday they didn't go in on the last friday i put out but then again, who knows? But without further ado, man, let's get right into it. I just need to leave the disclaimer up long enough so that way they know not to block this one. Oh my god. It starts off with a DJ Pooh voiceover. He's smoking on this early no, 2000s. Red it is not DJ Pooh. That is clearly. That is clearly Mike Epps and uh that is clearly Mike Epps and um Ice Cube. DJ Pooh didn't have nothing to do with the second Friday. DJ Pooh was doing his own thing. He had the wash and three strikes. Those are classics that we need to react to. Three three strikes especially, man. Why you leave little homie on stuck? <laughs> if you know, you know. Hey Pat, him and Ice Cube. The smoke starts turning into opening credits or something now. It is pretty terrifying. Imagine if that really happened to you. A real nigga movie. Yeah. Hey, that motherfucker owe me some money. Hey, man, that's that's shit. Ice Cube then starts narrating, of course, the hood movie. You know the deal. He recaps everything that happened on the previous Friday. Has it only been a week, bro, since the last movie? No. Right. It's not really the next Friday, is it? I got shot at for the first time, and I finally kicked Debo's ass for the first time. Debo ended up going to jail for about four years. Now, there's rumors going around the hood saying Debo is supposed to break out next Friday. Hey, look, what kind of rumor is that? Why would Debo tell anybody about his jailbreak schedule? The exact date and everything? Why the fuck is he in jail anyway? You didn't give a reason. Is it because of this fight? He got four years off this fight? No, man. He got four years because... 
Well, yeah, he got four. He got four years because of domestic. No, he got four years because of domestic dispute. He put his hands on Felicia. Remember? Come on, Prim. You should know this. He put his hands on a woman. He beat up Felicia in her house. Left. So pretty sure Debbie called the cops, and that's why he got arrested for domestic for for domestic violence. He got his ass beat. Warning Ice Cube in jail too. Maybe it's not the fight. Maybe it was something else. He was committing hella felonies for no reason. He broke into Stanley's house. Alright, it's fine bro. We can roll with it. Ice Cube goes on to explain about how he's gotta live with his auntie and uncle now in Bel Air. Apparently his dad heard the rumors about Debo breaking out of jail. So he sends Ice Cube away to protect them or whatever. How old is this nigga, man? You're a grown ass man. This should be your decision, bro. How are you getting shipped off like this? You're like 29. Great. Off your ass on your feet. Ain't no time to beat your meat. <laughs> 35, 45 minutes. <laughs> Hey, 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 oh, I'm Peter John Witherspoon. <laughs> Witherspoon slips and falls in some doo doo. Now he got doo doo all over him for the rest of the movie. That's childish, bro. That's not even like the same type of humor as the first one. What the fuck? This long ass doo doo joke. Are you serious? <laughs> Must be up and lips, son. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Oh, uh, Peter John Witherspoon, though. <laughs> I remember that. I remember there was a song. Debo and his little brother. Get off the court, Craig. This is the rematch. They're trying to get a rematch. Give me a point of rematch. Bro, go change your clothes. Go get some food or something. Regroup. I'm pretty sure breaking out of jail wasn't easy. As it looked, it looked pretty easy actually. This is Macaulay Culkin ass escape plan. They really broke out of jail like this? Facts. Yeah, I'm surprised niggas didn't just bust a U turn and call the cops on you right here at the first sighting. What's your strategy, Debo? What are you doing? I ain't kicking with you no more. I'm going to mommy house. Ice Cube and his dad go on their road trip and they make it to Uncle Elroy's house safely. Apparently Uncle Elroy won the lottery and bought this oh, ugly man. ass purple house in the suburbs. That house that was, was nice. That house was nice. You hating Prim. You hating Prim. That was a nice house. Come on, bruh. Come on, Prim. You hating now, bruh. That was a nice house. Now the purple makes it the purple does throw it off a little bit. Maybe if it was just all white. Or maybe they put some brick down. Pause. But yeah, the purple throws it off a little bit. But that's a nice house, though. That's a nice house. The suburbs of movie. You hating? That doesn't make any sense. I guess it does. Put niggas in the suburbs. All right. Mike Epps comes out of the house to greet them. Daddy Craig here. Cousin, he's like the replacement Smokey character. Smokey not in this one. He died or something. He went to rehab, nigga. He's the funniest character in the whole franchise, in my opinion. It's crazy they even tried this shit without him. Mike, bro. Chris Tucker didn't want to do next Friday, bro. He was making money with Jackie Chan. Think about it. If I only got five thousand dollars for this movie, and they paying me one million, and they paying me damn near ten million dollars to go work with Jackie Chan, man, fuck Friday. I'm a, I got my own franchise. Ice Cube got his. I got mine. The fuck. I guess it's a decent replacement, though. Facts. He definitely seals every scene he's in. Yep. He's the star of these movies, baby. Yep, this is, this is when we all were introduced to Mike Epps. And man, shout out to Mike Epps. Basically, from now on, no bullshit. The rest of these new characters, though, man, compared to the first one, they kind of trash, bro. Yeah. So, you got the Joker brothers. They're the main bad guys. They just Chicano stereotypes. I don't know what else is funny about them. Then you got this old yeah, Asian lady named Miss Ho. Oh, she a motherfucker. She Get it right. Accents. She says funny hip hop things in her accent. She barely does anything. She don't count. Then you got Baby D and Dewana. This one is Day Day's accent. She keeps trying to beat him up. 
That's pretty funny. <laughs> hey, baby, hey, baby D is a classic. Baby D is a classic character in the Friday series. <laughs> Fat new ticket coming out. It's gonna be better than the motherfucker. <laughs> when the spark all in your mouth, glitter. <laughs> <laughs> she's Uncle Alroy's girlfriend. She's trying to make love with the ice cube all day or something. See, I don't understand why they didn't bring her back for the next one, though. She the one that got left out, bro. She was actually good, bro. They should have kept her on, man. Because they brought, they brought some more in. Some more ain't do shit. Some more ain't do shit. Sugar did more than us. Uh, some more did. Come on, man. Fuck is we doing over here? Is she a freak? It just don't hit the same, bro. I miss the other side characters. They should have made the sequel in the same neighborhood. Why would you leave the hood? That was the whole magic of the first movie. I can't believe y'all. You gotta try new things, bro. You can't just keep shit in the same equum of the neighbor. Come on, man. You gotta try new things. Um, who is that out there with Day-Day's car? Hold on. Boy, yeah. it's X. Hey, Daddy! That crazy bitch out there again! God damn! You keep my shit. You keep my shit. She's trying to play. She's trying to play. She's trying to play. Fingers are riding around still in these hot ass jumpsuits. They catch up to Ice Cube's dad at some taco stand. Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell them to drop everything. Craig's in trouble. Come quick. Tell him he can call on time, bro. The five pounds lighter. Someone just called and said Craig's in trouble or something. What? Craig's in trouble. I don't know. Hold on, Craig. I'm coming. Give me my money. You're not even going to question this shit. Who would call you here? How would anybody know you were here? Also, why not just call Elroy and ask what's going on before you drive all the way back there, right? Am I crazy? Whatever. That do like make sense. That does. Yeah, they, the they, they, yeah, they, like, they, the they didn't think this one through. Movie, they didn't think this one through very well. For the most part. Now it's just getting weird. This shit feels like a TV spinoff. It barely feels like the same universe at this point. The Joker brothers got a Joker sister. Her name is Carla. And Joker. she was bad too, boy. She was bad, boy. Look at this, boy. What is we talking about here, boy? Come on, man. What we talking about here? Carla? Out of all of them. Out of all of them. The one in at Friday after the next, most definitely. Nia Long is a legend. But Carla was bad, man. Carla, Carla, you know. Ooh, mm. Carla was bad, man. God damn. Ice Cube trying to holler at her, but the Joker brothers stick they Joker dog on his dumb ass. The fuck? They got us got jungle fever. Hey, man, fuck that, hey, Chico. Chico. It's lunchtime. Miss Walker Willis, son. You got to move. You got to move. Motherfucker, in the corner. The boys are fighting with Joker dog. Mr. Uncle Wilson. John Witherspoon is making more duty jokes. <laughs> Put some hot sauce on my burrito, baby, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. <laughs> he literally just came back from doodling. Now you gotta take another one immediately. He got a bad stomach. That's the thing about Mr. Jones. Miss Willie Jones got a bad stomach. Willie Jones got a bad stomach, man. He can't help it, dog. He can't help it. He got a bad stomach. That's the that's that's his gag. He has a bad stomach. This nigga got irritable bowel syndrome, cuz. This whole Facts. entire storyline is about Dookie. That's crazy, <laughs> right? What am I watching here? Then it goes to work and Ice Cube is chilling, smoking with Uncle Elroy. Then Uncle about to have Elroy a little puff puff give in here, nephew. Turns into a nigga named Mr. Nasty. Let's show y'all who the real who puff daddy is. The nasty guy. Oh, 
Oh, okay, man. So this next scene is genuinely hilarious. I've been pretty hard on this movie, but the whole Pinky segment is goaded. Facts. Pinky is a great side character. Pinky, go, go, Pinky, Pink, 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 He got a silly wig on. He got the gun. Whatever. I got in trouble. <laughs> I got <laughs> I gotta tell y'all this story. I got in trouble for being so it was it was Halloween, right? And I wanted to be Pinky for for uh Halloween, right? This was like I wanna say third grade. I got in trouble because I wanted to be Pinky. I I had a toy gun. Mind you, it's a toy gun. It don't shoot nothing. It's it's literally a toy. It got a whole yellow cap on top. There's nothing coming out of it. It's just a toy gun. It's just you pull the trigger back and it make a click and it make a click sound. That's it. So so I dressed up as Pinky. I didn't bring the gun. I didn't it wasn't no gun situation, wasn't no school shooter situation. But um but uh but uh I was wildin' that day. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was wildin' that day. I went to school. I had the wig. I had the wig. I had the. I had the. Uh, I had the pink suit on and everything. I was wildin' that day. We was in the third grade too. I was wildin'. I was walking around talking about some pinky. Gotta go pink pink nickel. Pinky gotta go pink pink nickel. I was wildin', bruh. This is the third grade. And this is just when, uh, Friday after the next. This is when the movie was still in theaters, bro. I believe. I'm not sure. No, no, no. This wasn't when it was. It was some. No, this was fourth grade then. Yeah, this was fourth grade. I'm tripping. I'm, I'm getting them mixed up. It's fourth grade. Nigga. I was wildin' this day. I was walking around. I I was going to the bathroom. Talk about some pink gun. Go pink, pink nickel. <laughs> I was walking out the classroom. I was wildin', bro. I was talking about say something. I was, I, <laughs> we had a substitute teacher. <laughs> oh shit! Hey, we had a substitute teacher that day. Oh, I was showing my ass that day, nigga. I was like, "Pick, you gotta go, pick, pick, nigga." And I walked out the classroom. I walked out the classroom like this, nigga. I was holding my dick, walking out the classroom, nigga. I was like, "Ugh, Ugh nigga." I was doing my pin walk. I was walking down, nigga. I had my shades on. I was talking about pick, gotta go, pick, pick, nigga. And then we was, nigga. I was wildin' that day, bruh. I was wildin' that day. I threw a goddamn paper ball. The teacher, then the teacher got mad at me. She, the teacher got mad at me. She was talking shit to me and shit. I was like, I threw a pa so she, so she yelled and she cussed me out. She's like, you little shit. Cause this was like an old ass white lady, and this is when I was like in private school. So I was in like a Catholic school. I was in a private school. So and she was like, listen here, you little shit. You're gonna sit down and you're gonna do your work. I'm gonna write up to the principal. And I was like, and I was like, say it again, say it again, say it again, say it again. <laughs> I was <running. laughs> I was, I was showing my ass that day. I was showing my ass that day, bruh. Oh my god. Bruh. I was like, say it again, bitch. Say it again. I threw a paper ball at there. I was like, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> I was wildin', bruh. I don't know what I was on that day, bruh. I don't know what I was on that day, bruh. I don't know what I was on that day, bruh. I don't know what I was on that day. I was wildin' that day. I got sent to the office. I got written up. I got suspended. I got my ass whooped. <laughs> I couldn't even watch Friday no more. I couldn't even watch Friday no more, y'all. 
I got banned from watching Friday because I went to school acting like I was pinky. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, I was tripping that day, bro. But it was funny as hell. I threw a, I, when I threw the paper ball, I directly hit that bitch in the face. I said, I threw that paper ball, that motherfucker hit her in the face. It said, what, nigga? I said, I said, say it again, bitch. Say it again. Say it again. <laughs> I was wildin', bro. I was terrible as a kid, bro. Y'all, y'all don't want to know them stories, bro. Me as a kid, bro, I was, I was wildin'. I was out there, bro. He like a vegan big one. He's played by Clifton Powell, of course. Every black movie. If you start filming a black movie, this nigga will show up automatically at your house. Facts. Not to mention, Michael Blackson is in the scene also. Can't you pick motherfucker out, you pair head of beat. Can't get jiggy with this oh, shit. You motherfucker. This is what? Hey, jiggy with this shit. Hey, come on, come on, Prim. Come on, Prim. Come on, man. Hey, come on, Prim. Come on, Prim. Come on, man. You can't do my boy Kendrick like that now. I get it though. I get it. It's not for everybody. To pimp a butterfly wasn't for me. I'm sorry. I couldn't get into it. I couldn't get into pimp a butterfly. I'm sorry. But come on, Prim. Come on, man. Come on, Prim. So Ice Cube was going through Uncle Elroy's mail earlier. That's not cool. They got some tax notice and it says they're gonna lose their big purple house by tomorrow if they don't pay. They gotta pay some money before the time run out. That's what a Friday movie is. That's every Friday movie. So Day Day is stressed out about that whole thing. Then to make matters worse, his ex shows up at his job to beat his ass again. <laughs> We better stop running from that girl and fuck you! <laughs> Shit, them titties though. God damn. I'm telling you. I don't know how Carla looked today, but back in them days. I wanted to give you this. Hey, where the fuck did she come from? She's just randomly walking behind the buildings and shit. These niggas on an alleyway. I don't trust her ass, bro. What the hell is going on here? Uh, it's just then he got on the from Baby D with his life. Then he locks up the store for a second. <laughs> the boys start smoking and bombing. Shout out to Lady of Rage, though. I got an idea. It's a theory of mine, but I think it should work. Check this out. That shit don't work. I'm here to... Hey, I'm a... I'm, a, I'm here to confirm it right now. That shit right there don't work, my nigga. That shit don't work. <laughs> Oh my god. Niggas really thought that was gonna work. That shit don't work. That shit don't work. <laughs> oh my god. Move. I blew for your motherfucking head Look, clean up. Fucking try to try to rob, rob me. Now what you done done with Day Day and Roach? Day Day is my shut up. You ain't got, got no money. 
<laughs> Where the boogie at? <laughs> I ain't got no wish. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Stop. Say it again. Say it. Another motherfucking word. And this shit is over. Day Day and his white friend Roach both get fired. It's all because of Ice Cube, dumbass. Except, not really, bro. Y'all locked the store in the middle of a work day so you can smoke. You got baby D outside vandalizing shit. You getting fired regardless, bro. Facts. Grow up. Facts. They're all sad now, and they go back to the house and tell Mr. Nasty Time what's going on with the tax thing. <laughs> Oh. And I got five today. <laughs> this nigga poured lube on his son and spanked him with a belt. That's hella abusive, bro. What's wrong with you, Uncle Nasty? I never realized that till now. I'm thinking that's baby oil. I'm thinking that's baby oil, bro. I didn't know that was lube. I thought that shit was baby oil. What the fuck? What type of kicky ass shit was this? Time, Ice Cube sees the Joker brothers carrying some money and he comes up with this plan to rob them. All we need is a big ass pack of bologna. The plan is to use some bologna to distract the Joker dog while they break into these people's house. Their next door neighbor? You been out here one day, my nigga. You already running in people's houses, Ice Cube? Whatever, man. They do the plan, but Roach runs out of bologna, so he gives the dog some chocolate weed brownies. This nigga gonna die, bro. <laughs> facts, you know some facts, for those of y'all that don't know, dogs cannot eat chocolate. They will die. They intestines... They'll start bleeding from the inside. Their intestines will erupt. And they'll start bleeding from the inside and eventually die. Do not feed your dogs chocolate under any circumstances. I don't give a fuck if it's a laxative. Do not feed your dogs chocolate. They cannot take it. They cannot withstand it. It will fuck up their intestines and they will bleed from the inside and die. Do not feed your dogs chocolate. This dog probably finna fucking die. Supposed to give a dog chocolate, right? Or weed. You know, I always thought it was weird. Huh? No, you can give a dog weed. They got edibles for dogs. They got edible dog treats. They do. They help. They they help too with dogs. They help them live longer. They be hiding in the motherfucker too. They they don't bark or nothing. They just sit there and look at you. What's up, nigga? Woof woof. Wolf Wolf with you too, nigga. True, true. <laughs> hey, them dogs be high. I done seen a couple of dogs on them edibles, bro. They be fucked up. Pops is the dog catcher, right? They should have gave this mission to him. That would have been a funny callback. Facts. It made more sense, honestly. Facts. But no. Give the dog some weed chocolate. That's just funny. Look at the dog. He's so high. He's gonna pass away. Hey, you feeling good? This is my <laughs> I'm gonna introduce you to Mini Me. <laughs> I'm an elastic warrior. This bright ass, glow in the dark Fubu jersey. How does nobody see this shiny ass Fubu jersey darting around their house? Facts. What are you doing? Uh. But I snuck in here to show you that I wasn't scared of your punk ass brothers. You did all this for me? Most of it. What the fuck is wrong with this lady? I broke into your house to prove I'm not scared of your brothers. That's ridiculous. Who would fall for that? It works though, I guess. The Joker sister lets Ice Cube smash and he never talks to her again, I'm assuming. She never comes up ever again. Facts. This is every Friday movie. I can't believe how disrespectful this whole thing is. He breaks into their house, steals their money, smashes their sister, and poisons their dog. All in one day. <laughs> you his family life, Ice Cube. You're not a good person, bro. Where's Craig? He's in the house still. Driving like a little bitch right now, man. So you had enough. Go on, go on, stop. Oh, that's the Ice Cube escapes from the house, but now he gotta go back and save Day Day. He teams up with his Uncle Elroy and Pops, and this is the big action scene. 
It's crazy though. The original Friday climax was kind of serious. It felt like real danger was happening. Big Worm was a threatening character. So was Debo. This one is 100% played for laughs. It's these yep. old ass men fighting some cholos. That's the climax. Yeah, man. That's drastically different. You got right? knocked the fuck out. <laughs> How many of us have to friends? Shut the fuck up. Ones we can depend on friends. You didn't call the sandwich joint. I don't even like Houdini. Hell no, man. You starting to think, think like a dog. You know, you got shit on the belly of your ass. Hey. Don't sit down there. Put some newspaper there. <laughs> I like how Bob's just got here. He doesn't even know what's going on fully, but he's ready for action. He a real ass nigga, bro. Why the fuck ain't Ice Cube doing this part? He's just standing there looking at shit. You sent your elderly father and your nasty time uncle in there to fight your battles. That's lame, bro. You on another level, Ice Cube. I'm so disappointed. They take out two of the brothers. Now it's only the small one left. Little Ray Mysterio looking ass boy. Oh, now Ice Cube want to join the fight, huh? Because it's only the smallest guy left. You want to join in now. That's crazy, bro. I see what you're doing. Hey. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Ice Cube is uh, losing the fight anyway. Oh, God, bro. Your ass is useless, man. I guess you ain't got no weapons this time. He only won that first Devo fight because of the weapons. That's real shit. I'm standing by that. It don't matter, bro. It don't matter, bro. Ain't no rules in a street fight, nigga. There's no rules in a street fight, nah, nigga. There's none. There's none. There are no rules in a street fight, my nigga. You win by any means necessary. If you gotta throw dirt in a nigga eye, you throw dirt in a nigga eye. If you gotta hit a nigga outside of here with a chair, that's what you do. If you got some brass knuckles in your pocket, do what you gotta do with them motherfuckers. If you got a knife in your back pocket, use that knife, nigga. Stab, stab. Ain't no rules to no street fight, nigga. Y'all niggas think this the ring. This ain't the ring, nigga. Nah, fuck them squabbles, nigga. Fuck them squabbles, nigga. It's about survival. How do you sneak up like this? You like seven feet tall. Nobody saw this nigga. Another Friday. Another Friday gone. Another problem solved. It's a trip to know that things can get wild in the suburbs, too. They defeat Debo and the Joker brothers, and they save the suburbs. All the white people safe now. You know, where are all the white people? This is the suburbs. All the cops just getting here. I feel like somebody would have been called these niggas. And they just letting Ice Cube walk away with a cup full of money, a tube or whatever. He just broke into these people's houses. Y'all not even gonna question him, huh? Yeah. They really just went all out with the wacky stoner comedy. So many doo-doo jokes, bro. There's so many doo-doo jokes. The first one definitely had a couple of doo-doo jokes, but it was different. I don't know, man. Like, there's hella serious parts in that first one. It was a slice of life type of thing. This one doesn't even feel connected low-key. It feels like a straight-to-DVD sequel. The movie's not directed by F. Gary Gray this time. I think that's where shit really went wrong. They definitely needed that nigga. It was directed by uh, this dude, Steve Carr, who also gave us such gems as a Doctor Doolittle 2, Are We There Yet, and Paul Blart's Mall Cop. So yeah, this nigga suck. He ruined the whole vibe. He definitely made it horny, like Doctor Doolittle type vibe. Who mad is this? Always wondered what it would look like to have a proper sequel. Same director, same neighborhood, same Smokey. I feel like there's so many stories left to. That's who we should have got with the fourth one. The fourth one, we bring it back to the neighborhood. But there was a problem. They couldn't get Smokey. 
That was the only problem, bruh. We couldn't get Smokey back. And then when the nigga finally, and then when Chris Tucker finally said, okay, I'll do it last Friday. When he finally said he would do it, Pops pass away. Debo pass away. Ezell pass away. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm pretty sure we could get a, a good last Friday. But, man. We'll never know. But I'm cool with this. I'm cool with next Friday. I'm cool with Friday after the next. I don't really care about the wackiness. It was funny. Regardless of how you may feel, it was still funny to me. As long as it made you laugh like the first one did, it's cool with me. Until then, maybe niggas was being stingy with the money. That's why the original cast didn't come back. However, as it stands, we got Mike Epps out of this whole deal. So it's fine. And Michael Blackson. And Joker Dog. Joker Dog the Goat. It's not as good <laughs> as the first one. It took a hard ass left turn, but there's a lot of funny moments here. It's not the worst Friday movie. We'll get to that one, trust me. That's it though. Thanks for watching. Thanks for liking, subscribing. Hope you're having some fun holidays. Be sure to check out my brand new podcast, the BBC Club. Hey yo, hey yo. All the new Hey yo. Hey yo, hey yo, we we gonna chill on that one. But anyways though, we just gonna leave it right there for, for right now. I will see y'all all in the next one, man. I love next Friday. I love the Friday trilogy as a whole. I loved it. It made me laugh. It gave me some good memories. It is what it is. So yeah, that's just we're gonna about do it for this one. I will see you on the next video. Till then. Peace out, and I'll see you Friday after the next. Wink, wink. <laughs>